Alma, it is wonderful to be back at my favorite shithole. I love it here. This is awesome. I love this pleasure to visit, so you guys are the best. Um, yes, I wrote periodic table poems before, and I have done it again in Twitter-length pieces. I have one proof copy of this 164-page thing with isotopes and anything, and everything if anyone is interested. And if people ask really nicely, I actually have two chapbooks of all of the elements that I'm reading in this show. And they're in color in this one, which is double plus cool. Um, I'm not expecting applause between them, because they're all just really short, probably 20 minutes or something. And I'm going to go from nearly the beginning, because who wants to hear about hydrogen? I'm going to start with element 2 and work my way all the way up to element 118. I am blue lipstick on. I had to go all out here, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> this first one is for element 2 for HE. Helium rain is no more laughing matter. Some scientists found experimental evidence that helium rain can exist on Jupiter and Saturn. But helium droplets falling in liquid metallic hydrogen only exists with pressures 40,000 times the Earth's atmosphere. So her bodies would implode before we ever felt the helium rain. Element 7, N, nitrogen with an icy heart. The Kuiper Belt's non-planet Pluto shared its giant heart for all too long for. Its heart-shaped glacier is nitrogen, not something we mere mortals breathe. But wait, our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, only 21% oxygen. So maybe that nitrogen can account for that icy heart after all. <laughs> Element 11, Na. Sodium turns into quantum tornadoes. Uh-oh, science alert! Ultra-cold sodium gaseous atoms rapidly spin into needle-like strands, and on the quantum level, they form crystal mini tornadoes. Scientists now see the evolution of rapidly rotating quantum gas, like Earth's magnetic or weather patterns. And I thought sodium was only for salt. <laughs> Element 12, Mg, magnesium, becomes a thermal blanket. When scientists mix deep water and rock layers at high pressures like Neptune and Uranus, they found magnesium more soluble in water, like salt in Earth's oceans. So magnesium keeps the heat in mantles of water-rich ice planets. It's like a thermal blanket keeping itself warm. Element 17, CL. Oh, I like this one. Chlorine defines dioxins. The number of chlorine atoms in their, and their positions in dioxin molecules determines the toxicity of what Iraq war soldiers breathe in our government burn pits. Toxins, body parts, human feces. We support our troops, and yet our government kills them with burn pits and won't treat any cancer they cause. Can you believe that one? What? <laughs> the things you learn while doing these things. This is a bonus element. No, I mean, it's amazing. You search and you're like, wait, I know it's right about this. This is a bonus element for isotope number 55. I've jumped from 18 to 55, 137 CS. Would you like some cesium with your honey? <laughs> Cesium-137 from nuclear fission blankets our sky after Cold War tests. It falls globally, but a U.S. professor found East Coast honey had a hundred times more cesium-137. For low potassium soil there means plants soak cesium instead. <laughs> from plant nectar to bees, voila, a sweet radioactive treat. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a funny one. Element 58, CE. Cerium can soothe the soul. I like this one. That was some. They say cerium has no known role in humans, but writer Primo Levi would beg to differ. When he was in Auschwitz's concentration camp, he found a supply of ferrocerium and bartered with it for food. Some say cerium's toxin. 
it's toxic, but look at history. I say cerium can save lives. Here's a bonus element isotope for 58 for 141 CE. Cerium 141 slowly seeping in. This is for you guys at Lake Michigan. Radioactive cerium 141, a marker and byproduct from US nuclear tests, rained down over fresh lakes and seeped into our dirt, which makes it fitting to find cerium in tobacco plants all the way to Lake Michigan's cloudy morning skies. Element 59, PR, praseodymium, toxic if you breathe it. Dateline, ACS, praseodymium advisory it adversely hurts neural and cardiovascular development in zebrafish. After China mined rare earth elements, the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Jane's notes DNA damage. Good thing someone's here to remind us that tech not respecting the environment can hurt it. Element 62, SM. Samaria made the music play. We're obsessed with having everything and taking it with us wherever we want. And I wasn't there back in the day to get technology like this. But it's cool that back in 79, Sony made the first portable cassette player, the Sony Walkman, all made from samarium cobalt magnets. Oh, it's actually three, EU, europium, europium, europium and euros. One of the most volatile elements, neutron star supernovas made and baked europium in Earth's crust. I've searched for euros to see in my black light because europium, in Euro bills stops counterfeiting. <laughs> it's also in nuclear control rods, but europium in euros? <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I seriously, I want to find euros and put in the black light and see what? <laughs> Element 67, HO, holmium, only one atom. I own a magnetic necklace. There's no class stay together by attraction. It's ingenious, and so make it tiny with earrings. For researchers made the smallest magnet from one holmium atom. I beg to differ if they say they can use for data storage. Trust me, one atom of holmium can do so much more. Element 68, ER. You didn't think you were getting a science lesson, did you? <laughs> Erbium and REEs from fly ash. What is fly ash? Don't know how material intensive renewable energy is? Try a thousand percent more rare earth elements like erbium. How relieved are we to learn that REEs can be mined from waste in burning coal, that fly ash from a reusable liquid. So, let's take toxic waste and make the world a better place. <laughs> L169, TM. Thulium saves the day for some cancers. Everyone talks about breast cancer. Doctors, media, sports teams, stars. But prostate issues are high too. Uh, thulium lasers give the fastest aid for benign prosthetic hyperplasia, the common in older men. So, if men say they rule the world, throw them this bone and help their health too. <laughs> LS71, LU, Lutetium, and the crude truth. I had to do this since I now live in Texas. Lutetium and rare earth elements aren't rare. Extracting them is. The U.S. produces tons, but it goes to China to extract it. So we're still 100% reliant on China for our tech. Canada has Saskatoon mines, and Texas, the crude state, may soon mine lutetium and REEs for electric cars. I love rubbing the face for electric cars in Texas. I really do. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Element 76, OS. Osmium, when capitalism prevails. 
Osmium is 1,500 times rarer than gold with the highest density and abrasion resistance. One ounce of osmium is mined to 10,000 tons of platinum. But capitalism prevails when the most precious rare element normally used in sturdy tools is sold in paper-thin circles as expensive jewelry, too. I know Bob Lawrence says so this one doesn't say enough about the element, but I thought we needed a little bit of levity in this. Element 78, PT, platinum, stronger than love? Pla <laughs> platinum's one of the strongest elements, so is platinum stronger than love? I, I know the platinum engagement ring one man gave his immoral bride didn't save their failed marriage, but that was never love. Uh, because true love, the love I feel is stronger than the entire world. Let's give that a little bit. Element 80, HG. Mercury is a volcanic, icy re-release. Ancient purities in a glacial meltwater have now released after millennia with no industry pollution stuns us when annual samples studied match massive masses of mercury. Mercury is from volcanoes, pollution, so stopping coal mining is not enough. Mercury in Earth's past can poison us too. Element 81, TL, thallium's a real killer. Used in rat poison, thallium is a weapon of choice for fictional literature, plus a Pennsylvania chemistry student, a New Jersey woman husband killer, a Washington political assassin, a Delhi man killing his in-laws, even a North Korean cyber espionage group. In fiction and real life, thallium's a real killer. People got a kick out of this one when they saw this one online. L182, PB led the way. <laughs> lead paint gives lead poisoning like a lead balloon. Get the lead out or I'll fill you full of lead. With lead aprons for x-rays, lead pipes for plumbing, use a number two lead pencil with no lead. Listen to lead belly and drive a lead sled with a lead foot and leaded gas to lead the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Element 84, PO, polonium. Choose your fate, cancer, or radiation. This isn't in this, but polonium was discovered in the name by Marie Curie. That's not in this, but here you go. Polonium's really radioactive, a word Marie Curie created, and is in cigarettes. Curie discovered polonium but its radiation can't cure you of cancer from smoking, and radioactivity killed Marie Curie. A cigarette ember's glow is not like polonium's blue glow, but both can kill. Bonus element for polonium, 84. There's a polonium 210, polonium 210, with sparks flying. Highly rare, very rare and highly volatile. Radioactive polonium it doesn't seem useful. Then, how was polonium-210 adver advertised in 1950s Firestone spark plugs? <laughs> if claims were true, better ignition only lasted the 138-day half-life, so whether or not it was dangerous, it's now safe to order on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Element 86, RN, radon, just a little is enough. January's National Radon Action Month for radon's the second leading cause of lung cancer after cadmium for smokes. So it's bad, but the Austrian Gastein Curative Tunnel is where miners there were rejuvenated. Breathing radon fixed their problems, so just a little radon's enough. <laughs> I actually went to that tunnel. It was awesome. It was, you just hang out in it. You feel rejuvenated after being in this hot tunnel. Anyway, Element 93, NP, Neptunium. Just in time. Enrico Fermi, 
possibly erroneously, won the 1938 Nobel Peace Prize with neutron irradiation making newly discovered radioactive elements like Neptunium. He and his Jewish wife left for Sweden for the Nobel win one day before Germany's Kristallnacht, which could have led to their doom. The timing on that one blows my mind. The day before, they take off and then Kristallnacht the next day. Just blow them. Ah, sorry. All right, this one's funny. 94. I think I might have two for element P, plutonium. This one's called plutonium P. -U. American chemist Seaborg with Wall and Kennedy and even Segros, despite being an enemy national, worked at night in a small, smelly, confined attic to get element 94 and named it for the last planet. Remembering how smelly the space they found 94, he ensured that its symbol would be P-U. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Actually, they were like, oh, and it's going to be P-U. How fitting. <laughs> Bonus element for, <laughs> it's true, plutonium, better than the fat man. Tantalizing traces of plutonium-244 lodged at the bottom of the Pacific, one mile deep, embedded in layers of ocean floor rock, now prove that in the last 10 million years, supernova and colliding neutron stars, so much better than any fat man, literally rain plutonium on Earth. <laughs> on the 96 AM, a uh, fun one, Emory Siemens smoked detectors. A Boy Scout with an atomic energy badge tried to build a reactor adding americium from smoke detectors to other radioactive elements he found. Fearing excess energy in his backyard, he drove off with it, and police stopped him for erratic driving. <laughs> the EPA buried his lab in Utah. <laughs> Element 101, MD, Mendelevium, one atom at a time. The scientists bombarded element 99 in gold foil to get element 101, but the UC Berkeley cyclotron and chemical separators were separated by a cliff. So, they booked it up in a supercharged VW Beetle for Mendelevium with a half-life of about five minutes. And that was the first element found, only one atom at a time. <laughs> I'm just imagining these guys in a, in a Volkswagen going, wait, we've got to get up there for the work because this thing's going to be gone within five minutes. Get a supercharged Beetle so we can pull this off. I just find that really funny. I don't know, but I'm a dork. <laughs> science, science! Element 105, which is not dorky, it's awesome. Element 105, DB, Dominium's a fight to the finish. The U.S. and the USSR fought for military might, Olympic medals, and naming periodic table elements in Transfermium Wars. The Hindu even asked who found Dubnium first. Caraco Chronicle reports the pre-trial case, Dubnium, forgery, swindling, which shows that little is known, but conflict. Element 106, SG, Seaborgium only lasts. Your body's nuclei have lived billions of years. Seaborgium nuclei last only a fraction of a second. Volatile man-made radioactive element 106, <coughs> the only element named for a living scientist who created and ran a rare elements program, Seaborgium would be dead. One word under this poem. Get toward the end, we're all the way up to 107. RH, oh sorry, BH, 107, Borium is the secret. 107 is the heaviest element with studied chemistry. Borium's volatility was learned in a cyclotron, and in 1945 World War II, U.S. military stopped Superman comic strips, where he was irradiated by a cyclotron described in far too much detail for censors. <laughs> for science was the real secret in the war. <laughs> And they say, and my science geeks say, wow, I love it. Element 108, HS, Hassium, a beautiful day. 1984, Hassium discovered, Orwell, HIV identified, Apple's first Mac, patents 
go sets a rushing record. Michael Jackson's hair on fire in Pepsi ad. Mandela saw his wife after 22 years in prison. The Smithsonian got Mr. Rogers' red sweater. So, was 1984 a beautiful day in the neighborhood? Oh. <laughs> Element 110, DS, Dumb Stadium. What then? President Carter praised the Shah and dubbed him an island of stability. One year before the Islamic Revolution, which was a year before 52 Americans were held hostage in Iran for 444 days. Chemists won an island of stability with Storm Stadium, but when it's so unstable, what then? This one, element 113, NH. Nihonium, the only one that's named for a place in Japan. I said, John, what do I write about this? And he said, write a tanka. So I did. <laughs> Nihonium, a tanka, guapa. Cold fusion in lab. High rises, sway in typhoon. Nine years, three atoms. Elements found, then human progress grinds to halt. <laughs> We've got, I think, the last two, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ones that I didn't have, like Neonium, I didn't have names for when I read these element poems. This is 115, MC, Muscovium and Aliens. The truth isn't up there. <laughs> Muscovium, d discovered in 03, named in 16. A UFO lovers disagree and believe Bob Lazar went public with 115 in old spaceship work at Area 51. His claims were bogus, Muscovian's too unstable. Alien lovers believe what they want to believe. So, is the truth out there? Or in science? And the last one, because I have to, because it's the last one in the periodic table for you guys, is Element 118, OG. It's the OG of the periodic table. I can't believe I just said that. I'm so sorry. I just came I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Gannison, bending time inside. Wanting an island of stability when looking for elements, we found the opposite instead. Super heavy elements that blink out of existence. I fear 118 may be the end. Supercharged electrons in this noble gas travel near the speed of light. So time and space bends inside them instead. Double plus awesome. I've got two chapbooks there in color with because this one copy of this proof book has all of them in a larger typeface size. And when they were also released as Instagram images, all of the images are with these guys as well. And this chapbook is all the ones that I just read, and they're in color. So you can see sparks flying in color for those but other than whatever for it. So if you want to come bug me for this one copy of this proof copy, it is yours. And science geeks can have a chat on too. Thank you all so very much. And enjoy the